Uh, our next presenter will be Jeffrey Irving with the Rubicon Group. Jeffrey, it's all yours. Our uh, AWARF crew for today's event and the opportunity for Rubicon to be a part of it. And I want to thank all the attendees for tuning in. And, you know, we've got a short video and we'll take some questions at the end, hopefully. So let's get started. Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Irving and I've got Mike Taylor here with me. We're from the Rubicon Group. Thanks for allowing us a few minutes with you this afternoon. Now, whether you're an owner, work in accounting, purchasing, production, or sales, whatever you do, you're here because you're always looking for ways to get better. So today we're going to demonstrate some characteristics of Rubicon that can make you, your people, and your business better. A few words about Rubicon. We started the business in 1984. We've totally rewritten the software twice since then. We're a group of techies who take a lot of pride in the results our clients get out of our partnership. We see ourselves as a customer service company first, not a sales company, and we have a relatively small group of clients that are evangelists for the software. Our clients range in size from 5 million to 700 million, so once a Rubicon client, always a Rubicon client, no matter how big or complex your business gets. Finally, we're made up of an amazingly talented group of developers, account managers, and business consultants who know this industry and spend a lot of time getting to know your business in depth, even before you come on board. Now, our typical demo lasts a couple of hours. Today, we're going to do quite an abbreviated version. Then we'll spend a few minutes on Q&A. So what are the five ways we can help you lift your business? I want you to keep in mind these five characteristics of the system as Mike goes through the demo today. They're major differentiators between us and the competition and have a huge impact on the businesses we serve in this industry. Number one, it's a pure web application with a simple intuitive design. It's built on and constantly maintained with modern proven technologies. This isn't software from the 90s or 2000s. Number two, if you can use Amazon, you can use our product after about 30 minutes of training. Number three, you point, you click, you've got results. Number four, you've got to be able to get to your data very quickly and very easily, and we'll show you that. And finally, what all great systems have in common, including Rubicon, and that's fewer touch points, better accuracy, and faster throughput. For our clients, these are the keys to success. And with that, Mike, I'll let you take it away. Hello, I'm Mike Taylor, and I would like to give you a 30,000 foot overview of how the Rubicon software could help you and your business. Upon logging in, we're taken to a landing page, which in this case just has the Rubicon logo. The system can be configured to make this an active page in the Rubicon system, such as a task list. We are presented with context sensitive menus, allowing us to access various functions based on the permissions granted to us, related to what, and also related to what we're currently working on. Over to the right we can see we are on the sales desk. The desk represented here are for the purpose of demonstrating the software. Desks are used to define discrete job functions within an organization. Like the menus, they are completely configurable by your system administrator. Let's see what happens when we switch to the accounting desk. The menus change, presenting everything available to me in accounting. Let's switch back to the sales desk. Sales is more fun anyway. In the top right hand corner of the page there are four input boxes for looking up customers, vendors, contacts and items. There is also a magnifying glass for searching for specific information such as sales orders, invoice, RMA and customer PO. Let's find the customer pack cable. Notice the choice is narrow as I enter more information. Here's the customer information for pack cable. Here's the primary ship to information, but the system does support unlimited ship to addresses per customer. This section has transactional information, such as open order, open invoice values. The blue text are links to further drill into more detailed information. The next section is a summary of performance over time, such as the customer's highest credit, average days to pay, sales and profit for the last three years. The sales 12 month graph expands into a 3 year performance and includes sales targets. The next section contains accounting type information such as payment terms, who gets copies of the invoice statements etc. Finally there is a place for entering credit and sales comments at the bottom. 
Now, Pat Cable just called and he's wanted to know what happened to their purchase order PA 123 1A. We could look this up through the customer PO search. However, since we're looking at Pat Cable, let's see if we can find it in the open invoices. Here it is. So we must have shipped it. There's a link to UPS, so let's see if it has been delivered. It has. So Brian at Pat Cable calls to acknowledge it has been received, but says the 3400 foot piece is the wrong color. It's black instead of gray. In Rubicon, we call lots LRBs. They are a discrete piece of inventory, each one with its own unique license plate. Let's find where we got the 3400 LRB from. Now this page contains information about the lot itself, such as the vendor, the purchase order, the purchase receipt. Below is a chronological history of everything that has happened to that lot since it arrived into our inventory. The put-away transactions are a record of movement in the warehouse using, using Rubicon's warehouse management system. Let's click on the receipt number and find out what other LRBs we received that day. Here they are. Now we can have the warehouse confirm these are grey and not black. So in just four or five mouse clicks we went from answering an outbound customer service issue to tracking back to the point of inception into our inventory, all without having to write anything down. It's this simplicity of navigation that makes the application so powerful. Now let's take a look at the product 24-402GR. In the top section we have information about the characteristics of the product such as do we inventory it in lots or it is a standard widget type item where we just track the total quantity on hand. Other information such as product group uh, is used to group similar items together and it also serves as an accounting function. A detailed extended description is available. We can see sales history for the current customer, in this case pack cable or all customers. Sales history is presented with the newest transactions first. It's possible to store spec sheets, which also can be emailed to customers with quotes and sales orders. The spec sheets are either uploader files or hyperlinks to other websites. The next section is largely dedicated to costing and pricing information. The customer and vendor pricing are available on price sheets with effectivity dates. In this case, the pricing is derived from the default for this item. The final section shows the inventory disposition by warehouse. Available is on hand less committed. On hand is the current on hand balance. Committed is what is committed to customer sales orders or production work orders for items that are components in kits or bills of material. Back order is the quantity owed to customers that could not be fulfilled from stock. On order is the quantity on order from vendor purchase orders or production work orders if it is a manufactured item. On the vessel is where a shipping manifesto has been provided and the goods are on the way. This is typically used when importing. Allocated is the sum of the lot quantities that have been assigned to the sales orders. Quotes are the sum of the open quotes for the item. Now we have looked at the basics behind an item, let's take a look at something with a little more substance. Let's find a sling. Here's a very simple sling I'm sure many of you can relate to. Because this is manuf a manufactured item, there are a couple of more links on the page. The bill of material has the recipe for the ingredients needed to make the sling, the components. It takes 31 feet of wire, two Flemish ice leaves, and an identification tag. This display will show sub-assemblies and the components if the action full bill of material is selected. Now we know how to make the sling, let's go back and place an order for 10. If you can use Amazon, you can use Rubicon. All we need to do is use the Add to Cart function. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at the available carts in Rubicon. We have five carts. The Purchase Order card is used by authorized purchasers to place purchase orders with vendors. The Requisition card is used by staff who can request material but do not they have the authority to buy it. The RMA card regrettably exists because customers do actually send things back once in a while. The sales order cart is for recording sales orders and finally the quote cart is used for creating sales quotes. Let's create an order for 10 slings for Pat Cable by using the add to cart function and entering a quantity of 10. I'm going to open the gross requirements tab to make sure we have enough components on hand to build 10 slings. 
We can see the quantity required, what we have on hand, how much we are short, along with the total cost. The good news is we are not short. There is plenty of stock available to build 10 slings. I can override the price by typing over it or use the gross profit percent feature to drive the price. In this case I want to make 50% gross profit. The cross reference is Pat Cable's part number and description. This will appear on all outbound correspondence such as the order acknowledgement, packing slip, invoice etc. Internal comments are for us. They are never shared with a customer. External comments are for the customer and print on outbound documents. The schedules are telling the system when the shipments are required. Rubicon allows for multiple ship dates within a line item, also known as blanket orders. Notice we can see the bill of material. This part number was set up as being adjustable. That is, we allow the salespeople to change the components or quantity on an ad hoc basis for this specific line on the sales order. We also have fixed bills of material which cannot be edited or changed by the salesperson. We're not going to change this bill so let's add the line to our sales cart. Now we can see there's one item in our sales cart. At this point we can add more lines to the order or continue to check out. Notice the yellow warning. This customer has a credit limit issue. So when the order is posted it will be on credit hold for the credit department to resolve. We can choose a ship to a location. The system supports unlimited ship to addresses per customer. Brian would like an advance shipment notice when we ship. The next section has tax information which is either derived from the ship to addresses or alternatively from Avalara, a sales tax service. Rubicon is an approved Avalara software provider. The Avalara connector provides the correct tax, tax reporting and filing on your behalf. Let's put in the customer's purchase order number. And of course, since this is my order, so it must be a hot rush. The rest of the information here is defaulted from the customer and contains information like the primary salesman, credit terms, ship via, etc. We have standard instructions to print on the picking ticket and the packing slip, internal comments for the order, and external order comments. Rubicon has had the hashtag facility for years. We use it to store comments. In this case, thanks brings up the following comment. The order is ready to be placed, so let's post the order. I can see from the red status that the order is on credit hold. However, I would still like to send Pat Cable an order acknowledgement, so let's do that now. It would also be good to send the spec sheet with it too. This is what the order acknowledgement would look like. Now so far we've covered transactional processing to give you a sense of the ergonomics, navigation and ease of use. What I would like to focus on now is the power of putting information at the fingertips of decision makers. From the main menu we can see the sales flash. It has all the orders and invoices we have processed today. It's been a slow morning. We only have the one order we put in earlier. We can drill into the account to see the orders and ultimately drill into the order itself. Since it's been slow, let's see year-to-date information. The booking site is a summary of the sales group responsible for the sales activity. Notice sales targets can be set. We can see the same activity by salesperson, by customer. We can even sort the page on any of the columns. So let's find the most profitable customers. There's also a quotes flash, which is essentially the same as the sales flash, but concerns itself with quotes. The salesman dashboard shows individual sales activity from contact activity to sales performance. There's a wealth of information on the metrics menu. Let's do a little customer sales analysis. Here we see year to date sales by customer. We can drill into the blue links and find the details or simply export the data to a spreadsheet. Let's change our view to see who our most productive salespeople have been this year. I wonder which salespeople have been responsible for writing the most new business. Actually, I wonder which customers have been generating all that activity. Let's move on and take a look at Rubicon's reporting capabilities. We'll keep it simple and produce a customer open invoice register. 
we get a very colourful PDF in a fairly traditional report format. Well, that's nice, most of us today are looking for a little more. So let's see what we can do when we ask for a spreadsheet version of the same report. Notice we get a long list of available data elements, far more than we could have printed on the report. However, there is more information here than we need. So let's remove them and pick the elements we would like on the spreadsheet. Invoice number, invoice date, customer, customer number, invoice terms, and open invoice amount. So let's see the result. I know this has been brief and fast paced, but it is our hope you can understand how Rubicon is powerful and easy to use. It provides a depth and wealth of insightful information to help you make actionable business decisions. We call it Insight to Action. Can you send us uh, the contact number or email in order to schedule an, uh, another uh, more detailed presentation because we are really interested? A absolutely. The number would be... Uh... 630-574-6330-574-7766. Yes. And you can ask for Jeff Irving. Yeah. Perfect. And do you have an email? I do. It's Jeff at uh -huh. R-U-B as in Bob, G-R-P as in Peter dot com. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you, Ricardo. All right. It looks like we have a question in the chat feature. Does it come as modules or as complete solution? It's a complete solution, actually. It's an end-to-end -end solution for this industry. Um, it, it does have some basic modules in terms of financial and distribution manufacturing. Uh, and some additional modules like warehouse management, a full ma warehouse management system, labor reporting, e and e-commerce uh, B2B uh, framework. Uh, so we, we kind of handle it all. Okay. Um, are you able to see the Q&A feature at the bottom, Jeff? Let's see if we can find it. No, I'm looking. We're looking. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to see it? Are you able to transfer our information and history from our current software to your software? Yes, absolutely. In every case where we engage with a client in your industry or otherwise, we will convert the data. Actually, uh, we can do one of two things. Uh, we typically prefer to actually access your system directly so we can export the data and map it directly to our system. Um, in cer certain cases, when the client has the ability to export uh, uh, data in the format that we're looking for, then we can also take that information and also map it to our system. So uh, do you integrate with UPS and FedEx? Yes, we do out of the box for bo in both cases. It, it, can it be integrated with our accounting software, Microsoft Dynamics? In fact, it would replace your accounting software and everything related to your ERP system. What about interchanges for items, multiple vendor item number, or even slang? Yeah, cross references. Cross references. Yes, we have cross references. Yeah. 